Hi everyone. Uh, today we'll see one more uh, interview question. Uh, how to generate a sequence by using the expression transformation? Okay. So this is also a frequently asked question. So can you explain how we can, how we can generate a sequence by using the expression transformation? Okay. So there are many ways, right? So to generate a sequence, like by using a sequence generator, we can generate a sequence. But there are few issues while using a sequence generator. So that's the reason uh, some projects do not recommend to use the sequence generator. Such case, how to populate the sequence by using the expression transformation. Okay. So if anyone asks, right? So how to create a, a sequence by using the expression transformation? So you can explain the same way. Okay. So I'm just <clears throat> uh, let me explain before that. So, so nothing uh, complex here. So it's very simple mapping. So it will be a source qualifier. It will be an expression and they have a target. Okay, so expression. So you have to create a variable port. Okay, so you have to assign the values to the variable port. So based on that, it will generate the sequence value. Okay, so if anyone asks, right, so you can explain that. So what is the flow source? So source qualifier expression target. So why we are using? So here we are creating a variable port. Here we are assigning the sequence value to this variable port. And we are calling the sequence value in the output port and connecting to the target. Okay, this is the flow. It's very simple, but a frequently asking question. So they can ask directly also. Sometimes they may ask the question like, so I have a limitation to use the sequence generator. Okay. So can you explain, so any other way, how to create the sequence? You can explain the expression transformation, how to create it. Or else they can ask what are the different ways we have to create, uh, we are all the different ways we have to create a sequence. Yes, you can explain this also. Okay, so anyway, so let's connect to the Informatica and we'll see that. Before that, let me create a table. Okay, so I have already a source here. Now you can see here, I have four records. So I want to target, I want to load all the data. So I want to add one more column called sequence. Okay, I want to populate a sequence like this, one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, because four records are there. Okay, so first of all, we'll do, we'll create a target. Okay, so let me go to the script. Okay, SQL. Just let me copy that. All this. Okay, let me remove all these double quotes. Now uh, it's like it's looking like zigzag. So just mention that. I don't want size, just mention the trace number. Before that, what we'll do sequence number, it is a number. Second column is DEPT and third column that's 20 department location where kind of let me just say 30. Okay, no need to mention bytes. Okay, so now if you see here table name is the DEPT already there. Let me open say sequence so this is the target table okay so we have four columns so earlier we have three columns so i have added this column to populate the sequence number so let's create it okay so one more common list okay so now let's refresh it so now if you see source and target is ready so now the next step <clears throat> we import this into informatica environment import Okay, so 
DEPT source and source. Okay, and just I want import target also. So now source and target is ready. So what is, as a next step, so we create a mapping for this. Okay, so create M underscore sequence. So sources. So source and drag and drop. And I have to drag and drop the target. Like that. That's fine. The only thing we need here is expression. So just pull all the columns and what you need to do is you have to add first a variable port sequence underscore variable the variable port okay so here Sequence plus one on it. So it should be a number integer, okay? Because we are going to generate a number, right? So now one more port called output underscore sequence. It should be an output port. We are calling the so here is port. So that's it. It's also integer. So now this is only the logic we require to create a sequence. Don't confuse here. So how it works? First time if you run, this value will be because this port value plus one. So initially you don't have any value for this. For the first run, you will have a so sequence v underscore sequence right so v underscore sequence is equal to this value plus one so as a first run you will have a value for this as a zero so plus one so you will have for the first record as a value one so second time this value is assigned to this one. I mean, the sequence having a value already having a one. For the second row, you will have here one. We already have a one for the sequence, right? So one plus one, two. So next, we already have a two plus one, so three. So like this, just keep on creating the sequence. There is there is no limit. So if anyone asks, right, so we don't have a limit. So automatically, just keep on adding the arrows and it's keep on generating the sequence so like this it works so apply just create this yes just an added mapping let's generate it finish now it is done so let's see where is that this is my workflow just double confirm the connections are there okay and let's remove this okay control yes before that let me double confirm whether we have a data in the target table or not let it start from <clears throat> No data. Let's trigger this. Okay. Make sure no rejections. Four four loaded. So now 
could see here one two three four so like this let's keep on let's keep on adding the sequence to your target so if you have a limitation to use the sequence generator then you go and use this and you can generate a sequence and you can implement the business logic so that's all for today so we'll see another interview question on the next session yeah thanks everyone